All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Good morning to you, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. This video, we're going to be looking at three top tips for speeding up your workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's jump in. So my first top tip, tip number one, is to use the keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. They are fully customizable, um, and I would suggest that it's a good idea to use them to really speed up your workflow. Heading into Adobe Premiere Pro, if we go up here to Premiere Pro CC, down to keyboard shortcuts, this is a representative layout of your keyboard, and you can customize all these buttons. You've got mark in and mark out, for example, preset, I and O, and then if you look, we've got green and purple splits on these, that represents the command button, the option button, control button. And I selected option and X for clear in and out, because it's something that I use quite a lot in my own projects. Here you can see command, option, and then control. I also use uh, toggle full screen, which is uh, control, and this uh, little comma here, which is usually located next to that Z button. Um, and we save that there. So I can now mark in here using I, mark out using O on the keyboard, and then my personal setup is Control apostrophe, and that clears my in and out points. Okay, moving on to tip number two. Tip number two is ripple delete. This is one of my favorites. Um, it does only save you a couple of seconds for each move, but um, at the end of a project that can really add up to uh, shortening the whole workflow which can be really important sometimes if you're working for a client. So back into Adobe Premiere Pro. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to take my um, splice tool, my razor tool using C on the keyboard, cut, make two cuts. Suggest we don't want this clip in the middle so what we'd normally see is people would select the clip, delete it and then drag one clip to the other to close the gap. I'm going to undo that quickly now. Um, what I used to do is uh, select the clip, delete it, press in a gap, delete that gap. But actually even quicker than that is ripple delete. Uh, and this is where we have select a clip, press alt and backspace. So actually what that's going to do is delete the clip and bring all of your sequence close together uh, without the need to delete the gap. And finally, moving on to tip number three. Tip number three is unlink. This is something that I use quite a lot in my own projects. Um, I like to unlink the video and the audio so I can then create a smooth transition, usually with the audio. So going into Premiere Pro, um, what I will do here is just show you typically how people unlink their audio. It's usually a right click and unlink and then select either the audio or the video and delete the clip you don't want. That is a long way around it. I'm gonna link these back up again and show you what I normally do. And that's going to Premiere Pro and keyboard shortcuts again, like in tip one. And I selected Command and L for unlink. Um, so I'm gonna save that. And this is typically how I unlink my audio. Um, select the clip and then command L. What I'll do now is link those again because there is a quicker way. Something I found out more recently, this is probably an old technique, but it's alt and delete straight on the clip that you want to get rid of. Um, very, very quick way of speeding up your workflow. So there you are, three top tips for speeding up your workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you found them useful. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Uh, just a quick one again on a tutorial basis. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.